I guess I better get some water. Doing here, you peeping Thomas. Just looking for water. Water. Likely. You want to look? Look. Oh. Mr. Bartley, you forgot the water. Oh yes, the water. I think I better get that later. But. What happened? Well, nothing happened. No, nothing. Nothing happened at all. But I'll tell you this. Someone should take that daughter of yours over his knee and uh, give her such perhaps a... Perhaps you would like to try that, eh, Mr. Barclay? No, no, no. no. I'll leave that up to the bridegroom. I'll tell you something else. I'm beginning to feel very sorry for him. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for Jan. He can love like Romeo and fight like a lion. Especially when he's made jealous. Jealous? Jealous of me? And you? <laughs> well, now I can hardly think why. Maybe when we get there, you'll know. A few days you will be safe in the arms of Jan. It smells delicious. Lamb. Uh-huh. It was bought and paid for. Oh? You don't have to eat any if you don't want. Pilon. Him. All his life he has been saying that gypsies steal chickens. That they put the hex on cows so that they will not give milk. That they steal children when they go through the neighborhoods. That is what he has been saying all his life. Well, isn't some of that the truth? No, it is not the truth. Well, now the whole world can't be wrong, you know. What do you know about the world? All right. I won't talk about the world. I'll talk about myself. Let's see now, it was, oh, three years ago, I hired some gypsies to pick my peach crop. And I paid them what they earned, and even gave them a bonus. And they showed their gratitude to me by stealing my best stallion. You're so sure it was a gypsy, huh? Oh, now, what would you say? We found the stallion up in the hill, tied to the back of a gypsy wagon. He had no explanation? Oh, yes, he had an explanation. He had a beauty. He said he was uh, bringing him back to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't think that was possible? No, no. Why? Oh, come on. Because you think we are all horse thieves. Well, let me tell you something. We are not all horse thieves. That horse over there was bought and paid for three months ago with good American money. We bought it because the one we had before was stolen by one of you gajos. Walker Station. Drive around town. Better they don't see gypsies. You better go on into town and get a new axle nut for that wheel. There's always trouble. We haven't got time for that now. There'll be a lot more trouble if that wheel comes off again. Gypsies! Gypsies! Stop! You're stealing my cheat! Come on, get out of here! 
What's the matter with you? Come on, fellas, get some target practice. jugs with more brains than those people. Maybe now you know what it's like to be a gypsy, huh? Yeah. There. Now you look like a real gypsy, huh? Let me pierce your ear and give you a gold earring. You would look very handsome. Mm -hmm. And then put a ring in my nose, too, huh? No, no, no thanks. Marvelous! All right. Easy does it. We're just gonna have a look around. Is this all of you? What do you want? What you stole. You didn't steal anything. Gypsies is gypsies. All right, tear the goods out. We're gonna look through it. No, 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 no. Nick! I won't do that. Don't start anything. No. No. What are you looking for? We don't know yet. What do you got? Don't touch me. What do you got, man? Hey. Well, where does gypsies get money like this? That is our life savings. We work for every penny of it. That's my trousseau. Not anymore. My woman's been nagging me for a teapot, but I could never find one big enough or pretty enough. Now, where do you suppose they stole that? Leave that alone. <laughs> you stinking gypsy. No more. Put your hands up. Please, ma'am. Be careful. You'll just be... You, turn on your gun. Left hand. All right. Get out of here. Move! Gently, Pilon, gently. Mama, he fought for us as though we belonged to him. Yes, I know. I will get some water. Nick, you're going to be all right. I take you to a doctor. You'll be all right. Angelina, he is a good man. But she's promised to someone else. I know. Please, where I can find a doctor. Best you keep looking up the road, Tinkers. You need your mouth fixed, mister. Nicholas, don't. It happens this man is not a gypsy. He needs a doctor. That's over to the livery. I said doctor. He's the only kind of doctor we got. Hey. 
let me help you. some stitches. I work on most kinds of animals, but I don't work on gypsies. He's not gypsy. Don't try that. What difference does it make to a doctor what I am? I don't minister to the likes of you. You go up Sea South Brown, up Carney Way. Don't matter to him whether it's night or day, much less gypsy or human. Now you listen to me. I'm getting sick of being kicked in the teeth like a yellow dog. Now you get to it. All right, mister. I'm going to enjoy using a dull needle on you. Before I begin, I want to know where your woman is at. You, over there. Stay there, ain't nothing to steal. Sit down. Oh, I've seen Indian scout people. Seen outlaws kill for fun. Seen so many people being mean to each other. I preferred animals to human beings. The lowest kind of animal I've ever seen. A sneaking, thieving gypsy. They come along, they hate you right off. Before they even get to know you, they're ready to steal you blind. You see one gypsy. You know there's ten more out there in the bush. That's how sneaky they are. Pack of lies. Gypsies are no worse than you and me. Sir, Jane, get back in the house. Gypsy will commit the worst crime of all. What's that, breathing air? No, sir. Stealing children from their homes. You gotta hide the children. Anybody that steal a child in the loving arms of its mother is the most depraved scum of mankind. That's a lot of hogwash. Gypsies don't steal children. People have told me of actual cases where it's happened. Just gossip. You let the air get at it, it'll heal faster. I don't guarantee anything. You may have a concussion, get dizzy spells, or worse. But I'm finished with you. Sarah Jane, you get out of here. Get back in the house before these gypsies steal you, cut your ears off, and sell you. You're gonna raise that child in lies. You're gonna raise her as ignorant as yourself. She might just be better off with gypsies. 